Hey, 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 what's up, my friends? Welcome back to today's video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the, the importance of liquify tool in retouching. So, um, now the liquify tool is one of my best bets when I'm doing retouching. Now, what exactly do I use the liquify tool for? So, you see, sometimes you shoot your model, and when you come back to retouch, you notice that. Um, the model's face looks very broad or very wide or probably sometimes you would see that the model's mouth is curved or the face of the model doesn't look very straight or something of that sort. So now when you have a situation like that, one of the best tools to use to correct such a situation is by using the, the liquify tool. Yep. So I'm going to be using this particular image to show you an example of how to use the liquify tool to make your images look very good especially when you have such a situation now this image was shot with a canon um, 6d mark 2 now i shot this image at a very close range when i go back and i was about to retouch i noticed that her face looked very broad so i decided to use my liquify tool to make some corrections now let me just show you the before of this image now this is how the image was if you notice when I when I turn on the after and when I turn the the modified image off you notice that her face in the original image is very broad as compared to the modified one and some part of her hair was also unkept and I used the liquify tool to correct it a bit so now let me just show you how I did it so let's go to now this is the original image now first thing i always do as you all know is to crop my image and i normally use and i normally use the 4 by 5 ratio to crop my image so when i crop my image then always remember to duplicate your original so that if if you should encounter some errors you would always be able to um, have your original saved so now after duplicating my image, I'm going to go to filter. Filter is at the top. Just tap on it and I'll come and click on my liquify tool. Yep, so here is the interface for liquify tool. Now I'm going to take my time to, I'm going to do another video where I'll take my time to explain every bit of the liquify tool now you can use it to do a whole lot of things but in this particular video I'm just going to concentrate on how to use the facial option in liquify tool to make some corrections in your images now if you come to the left here you have the warp tool then you have the reconstruct tool and a whole lot of tools here now I normally use most of these tools but today I'm going to be showing you how to use only the face tool so I'm going to tap on the face tool. Then once you tap on the face tool, it's kind of automatic. It's um it captures the face of your model. Now as you can see in this image, it has already taken the shape of the model's face. So now as I said, the model's face is not actually broad, it's not actually wide. So I'm just going to go to the edges of the face and then I'll pull. I'll pull the I'll pull the cursor in just like this as you can see now it's not going to give you a very perfect um, it's not going to it might not give you that perfect look but it's kind of good now I think this is almost the shape of the model's face so then I'm going to pull it up a bit like this yep now this looks good let me let me turn it let me turn off the preview as you can see her face is broad and when i turn on the preview now you can see the magic that the liquify tool has done now i feel like um this part of her cheeks looks a bit too wide so i'm going to use this tool that is a warp tool i'll just tap on the warp tool over here then i'll increase the size a bit 
then I'll come to this part of a cheek that's like a cheekbone I think then I'll just push it in a bit just a little bit not too much just push it in a little bit just small not too much yeah I think this this looks okay this is good now let me see the before and the after yeah this looks very good so now at this point I think I'm done with the face so what I'm going to do next is now if you look at the hair it looks a bit um, if you look at this portion it looks a bit out of place so I could either decide to pull this part of the hair inwards so using the um, the warp tool I could either decide to pull this part of the hair inwards just like this or I could decide to push this part out so that it matches with the portion of the hair that looked outward just like this so it depends on your preference I advise you use the liquidifier but when you're doing it you have to be very careful because um, some people use it and they tend to make their models look very funny in a way so I'll just use this to try to make the shape of her hair look okay mm -hmm. so I think this is good this is not bad now push here to inside now I could do a whole lot of things with this um, image if her nose wasn't straight I could have used the liquidifier tool to correct it if her lips if I felt like her lips were not are too broad or something I could use a liquidifier tool if her chin was too long I could use a liquidifier tool now let me just demonstrate a little bit now if I come back again and I select the face tool in the liquidifier tool then now when I when I hover the cursor around her lips you see that Photoshop automatically selects the shape of her lips now if I want to make her lips smaller I'll just tap here hold on it and I'll bring it in and as you can see it pulls her lips inwards if I want to make her lips um, her mouth broader or wider I'll just hold the bottom and I'll pull it out hold the top and I'll pull it out now if I want to also work on her nose I just take my mouse to the nose and you see that Photoshop captures the shape of the nose then I'll just hold it and I'll pull it out or I'll pull it upwards just like that and if I come to her eyes it does the same thing I could push it out or I could push it in so that's basically the face to in the liquify tool of Photoshop now when I'm done let me just show you the before and after if I turn my preview off and this was how the image was and when I turn it on this is how it looks now so once I'm done I just hit my ok and we have the modified tool the modified image I mean so now let me turn this one off and when I turn it on again you see the difference so yeah, this is how to use the, um, the Lookify tool in Photoshop to correct your images. Now this was very brief, not very long, but very, very important. So um, next time when you have such a situation, just go to the Lookify tool and try to use it to make corrections. Now the next thing I would like to teach you is um, a simple way of changing your background. Now as you can see in the other image, if you notice this isn't the original background as you can see and when I turn it off and when I turn it on so it was a background I searched for on Google and when I found this it looks like a background I felt would make my image look very dope so I downloaded it and I decided to use it it's very simple now in this um, in this method you don't need to use your um, pen tool to cut out your image 
and all that um, long process you just need to place your background on the image then you change the the blending mode so let me just drag in my um, background I go to my downloads um, Now this was the image I found, so I just drag it into Photoshop. Then I make sure it fills the entire canvas, just like this. When I when I get here, what I'll do is I just need to change the blending mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through not all of my blending modes but then there are some particular ones that i normally use that that makes it easy for me to get a very clear cut background so in this image when i when i put my case on the multiply blending mode i notice that this might work a bit for me because if you look at the image it looks um with a multiply it makes the back it makes the background stand out but then let me try the other blending modes and see which one might work better so if i use lights no screen no no not at all yeah overlay looks good now this i used overlay for the other image that i showed you before so um let me just stick with overlay so i'll select overlay now the next thing I'm going to do is I need just this part of the background to show and not the other ones that are interfering in her face and then her hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer mask on the background. So I'll make sure that my background is selected. Then I'll come and tap my layer mask. Now once my layer mask is um, created on the background, I'm going to make sure that the layer mask itself is selected just like that then i'll come and select my brush tool then i'll make sure that the color of my brush tool is black because in layer mask when you're working on a layer mask the white reveals and black hides so i'm going to make sure that this foreground is changed to black i just press this and it's changed to black then now i'm going to paint over her face and over her hair to hide the back the background that i don't need to show so i just go ahead let me change my flow to 100 i just go ahead and i'll start painting just like this now as you can see as i start to paint it hides the other parts of the background that i uploaded onto this image so i just paint over it like this Um, paint, paint, paint. Let me just do it very quick. Just take your time. Now, when you are doing this, the most important part is the edges. You have to take your time and make sure that the edges are very smooth. If not, you are going to have very rough edges, and it will make people notice that you have done something to the background. So now once I get here, I know the edges, I should be very careful with the edges when I'm trying to paint it out. So I just take my time and do it smoothly. I'll do the same thing for the other side, just like that. Cool. So this looks good. I think this looks fine. So yeah, as you can see, it looks very natural and it looks very, it looks very original. Nobody can tell you that this was um, a background that was imported from somewhere else. So yep, and it's way faster and more easier than using the pen to and trying to um, trying to mark out the whole borders of the person and that fast, that very long process. Instead of doing all this, you can just go through the, use the layer mask to hide your, um, the background 
make sure that it, it doesn't cover the image and then you have only the background showing so yeah these are the two things i wanted to show you in today's tutorial um if you enjoyed today's tutorial please make sure that you hit the subscribe button um tap on the bell notification and leave a comment and also if you know someone that might find this video very important or very very helpful you could recommend it to someone else and yep and let's keep the family growing and um also follow me on instagram at eric photography and let's learn photography and have fun together see you in my next video tutorial have a lovely day goodbye